What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Salam Mike back with another video answering your questions from the comments below. Go ahead and give this thing a thumbs up. Head to the comment section. Let me know what you want me to cover your questions, life, fitness, nutrition, however I can help you. We'll cover them in upcoming videos. Be sure to hang out on Twitch. I'm live streaming every Sunday through Thursday. Salam Mike with two K's on Twitch, www.twitch.tv backslash front slash Salam Mike, two K's. I'll see you guys there. Diving into your questions. How would you diet around an injury? Eat a calorie surplus to try and minimize muscle protein breakdown while inactive. Now, this is gonna be highly dependent on the individual, highly independent on the individual's goals, and also highly independent on the injury. Now, if you have a back issue and you literally can't move, you're hospitalized, hopefully not, um, is way different than you have a, a broken wrist or even just some really bad elbow tendonitis, right? So um, your definition of an injury, my definition may be different. My definition of an injury means that you must go to a doctor or hospital, um, in which case, again, it does depend on the injury. If you have a neck injury, et cetera, et cetera. Life changing. Um, I understand what you're getting at. If you wanna keep onto some of your muscle, uh, you wanna keep into a calorie surplus, but the issue here is that your calories will probably change because you may be inactive um, depending on the injury. So what I would first focus in on is what you can do. So again, if you have the wrist issue, let's try to get some lunges in. Obviously you wanna get a pass by your doctor, um, but walking, moving, biking, perhaps even squatting with a safety squat bar, um, a belt squat machine, leg machines, leg press, whatever it might be. Or the opposite, maybe you have an uh, ankle issue, knee issue, maybe we can get some pull-ups, chin-ups, maybe some bench press, dumbbell press, face pulls, rows, et cetera, et cetera. In which case, um, it would lead to what your goals are. You know, if your goals are to continue to bulk, build some muscle, you can still be in a surplus. Uh, it might have to be slightly less because you'll be more inactive. You won't be able to walk and move around as much with the example of the ankle or knee issue. Um, you may uh, want to take this time to cut and diet down, get a little bit leaner. Uh, you may, may not lose muscle. Obviously, you're gonna lose muscle in the inactive part of your body that you're not directly strength training and causing that stimulus for anymore, right? If you hurt your right wrist and no longer can do bicep curls, you may have some atrophy in that bicep. Don't overthink it, don't overstress it. Focus on what you can do to continue to improve and stay on your goals. Um, you can adapt your, your, your training a little bit depending on what you wanna do, um, but I wouldn't overthink the topic. I would focus on the positive and continue towards your goals. As soon as you come back, your muscle will come back quite quickly and you can readjust your goals and figure it out. There's multiple comments here. Uh, we're not gonna dig into it too deep. Uh, you know, uh, many of you have followed me for a very long time, podcast, um, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, especially if you're hanging out on the live streams on Twitch, I'm super open and I'll talk about absolutely anything. Um, and not that I haven't here. Um, I'm, probably, I, I'm as see-through, as, as organic, authentic, whatever freaking cliche words you guys want me to use, I talk to you guys and I let you know, especially when I'm vlogging, how I feel, what I'm thinking, et cetera, et cetera. A uh, bunch of questions, am I single? I am single. Um, my schedule, my life is absolutely hectic majority of the time between um, podcasting, YouTubing, Twitching, plus helping uh, my mother around, she lives nearby, uh, plus a couple secret projects I have in the works, um, some companies and things that I'm working on, plus all the stuff I do with Kaizen training. Um, so I'm pretty dang busy. Uh, so yes, I am single. Maybe that's why I haven't vlogged as much is just because my workflow right now, you know, I wake up eight, eight in the morning, grab some caffeine, head straight to the gym. I get that hour or so in the gym of lifting, kind of meditating with my cardio, really getting my thoughts together for the day. I come back home and depending on the day, I'm either filming for YouTube or I'm heading to the studio with Jim McDee to film a podcast. That typically, you know, with um, showering, getting ready, setting up the cameras, et cetera, can take anywhere from one hour to maybe three, four hours, depending on how many podcasts and YouTube videos we're doing. Then I'm right back home. Um, I try to get a meal in maybe, some freaking water, and then it's right on to Twitch and we're streaming for anywhere from three to even six hours live on the internet. I sometimes get an hour off at night, watch a little uh, Netflix or something, go to bed, rinse and repeat. So uh, that's probably why I don't vlog because those days are so mechanical. I don't really have time to vlog. Um, vlogs may be coming back. I may be training uh, again on video. A lot of people have asked again, 
are you single and do you still train? Those are two comments that I get a ton all over Instagram um, and, you, and, and YouTube and etc. I do do uh, a ton of training. I train five, six times a week, but the gym I train at is right outside of my house and uh, it's very, very close. It's very convenient and I'm really using this time to gather my thoughts creatively and focus on my health. Uh, I don't have any health issues by any means, but I just really am enjoying my alone time in the gym. So, and at the gym, I'm not allowed to film. It's a big uh, franchise gym and they don't allow to do that. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go to Untamed Strength eventually. It's about a half an hour to 40 minutes away from me. I love Alan Thrall. He was super cool to me when I was living out there. He's been a good friend for a long time. I'll train there when I can, but uh, out of convenience and how busy my schedule is, I don't. And that's also, I guess, uh, yeah. Um, not sure if this is too personal, but how can you make a living off be by being in the fitness community? I really love lifting and I like to do so. Um, a million ways, man. Um, a million ways can you make money in this world with the internet, um, with the resources that we have here, at least in America. Uh, I can't speak on other places because I didn't grow up there. Um, you can make money in endless amount of ways. Um, and by make money, you know, it depends on what your idea of making money is. Um, you know, do you want to have an excess of money? Um, it may be more difficult, perhaps, depending on the path you want to take, but you can make a living and potentially a lot of money uh, doing what you love. So if you love fitness, man, a um, couple suggestions. One, be whatever aspect of fitness you love, um, all you need is a little bit of hard work. Try to really master your skill and a little bit of creativity and you can literally do insane amounts of things. So if you wanna be a trainer, if you wanna be a coach, if you wanna be a content creator, whatever it might be, first you have to have something to share, um, whether it be your own personal journey and experiences, some type of knowledge, whatever it is, you have to hone in those skills. So again, if you wanna do YouTube, which is a comment I get all the time, how do I do what you do, Mike? How do I do what Bart does? How do I do what Omar does, etc.? I think it's so cool, I love it. Well, you know, little known fact, Bart is an actor. Uh, he's done stand-up comedy and taking tons of acting lessons his entire life. Um, I went to a liberal arts school where I basically was in every musical, orchestra, choir, uh, ad-lib acting classes. Uh, I, I did that all for 12 years of my life. So being in front of the camera was a little bit new because we didn't do camera stuff, but I've been in front of audiences of hundreds if not thousands performing my entire life. So to me, those are skills that we have that now we can feel more comfortable communicating, sharing, um, and being uh, in front of a crowd or audience, right? So those are skills that are necessary to be a podcaster, YouTuber, Twitch person, whatever it might be. Um, on top of that, I've spent basically since I was 17, 18 years old, as much effort, financial, energy, experience, uh, interviews, etc., becoming the best coach and trainer I can, gathering as much knowledge as I can in the fitness industry to help as many people as I can. So um, two, I kind of have that that aspect and then I have the aspect of being the best trainer that I can be and I still listen to podcasts and still with 50% facts um, my new podcast I'm lucky enough to talk to some of the greatest minds and experts in fitness and also just in life in general that really get me thinking and learning and continuing my education so um, you can go down the personal training route go get a certificate go get your CSCS and go work at the pro um, pro level, you can go work at a commercial gym, you can start your own gym, you can start your own company, you can do whatever you want. You could be a blogger, you could be a writer, you could be a um, anything you want to do. It's just a matter of putting in the effort, having some type of goal, and really chasing that down for the long term. It can't be something you want to do or accomplish in six months. Um, I mean, you can do whatever the heck you want to do, but that's not the way to go about it. It's taken me 10 years in the fitness industry to get where I am now. I opened a gym and had to close the gym because I failed. Um, I've helped start. Uh, manage, market, consult on multiple companies within the fitness industry. I've been on thousands of podcasts, thousands of YouTube videos, multiple channels. I've coached hundreds if not thousands of people online and in person, all to build up my resume and my experience um, for what I eventually want to become, which is a really good strength coach and a really good content creator. So all my goals have always, my actions have always been in line with my goals uh, for the last 10 years and then 
uh, to continue on, right? I, I want to create content. I want to connect with you guys. I want to build communities. I want to entertain, make you guys smile while informing, hopefully education, uh, educating along the way. Um, I hope you guys appreciate the videos. I appreciate you guys for watching. Give this thing a thumbs up, comment below, follow me on Instagram. Let me know what you want me to cover in upcoming videos. Hopefully I'll see you guys on Twitch again, Sunday through Thursday and check out the new podcast, 50% facts on iTunes. I appreciate you guys. Salam I'm out of here.